Well, this week we've been getting a look at the progress being made on the construction of the new Bill Stadium. Now a new chairman has been named to oversee the project's Community Inclusion Task Force. Two on your sides, Andy Payton spoke to the new chairman today and here's what he had to say. As of late, the Bills have given fans little to be excited about. Bills linebacker Vaughn Miller has turned himself into Dallas police. Head coach Sean McDermott used the 9-11 hijackers as an example of a group of people that came together. Leaving many to shift their focus to the brighter future across the road. But with that future comes promises. This is a, a rare opportunity in our history. Promises that Patrick Freeman has been tasked with making sure are upheld. It's a lot of tax dollars at stake. It's a lot of money at stake. This week, the Stadium Community Inclusion Task Force named Freeman its chair, placing him responsible for gathering data on the stadium's construction and ensuring the county is meeting the promises made in the Community Benefits Agreement. Our role is to help include everyone in the process, especially uh, the people that have participated in helping to build it, and that's the taxpayers. On Wednesday, the bills released new images of the stadium's construction progress, offering taxpayers a glimpse of their $850 million commitment in exchange for pledges made by the team to invest $100 million back into the community over the next 30 years. The construction process now, I think they're even pouring uh, cement uh, to what I've seen. Uh, they're in the first stages of the building process and uh, passing out contracts. Contracts that have been promised to the community with the agreement stating that 30% of the construction team must be made up of local minority and women-owned businesses. A pledge he tells me he's currently seeking to verify with the county. We would like to see a diverse group of contractors, mostly uh, locally. Uh, locally benefits us. But outside of the construction, the agreement has received criticism, with a team not specifically naming how the $100 million will go back into the community. When the guidelines and language are so broad, how can you ensure the people of Erie County that the money will go to where you say it will? We've had uh, some tremendous tragedies, uh, like May 14th here in Western New York. Um, We've had other things happen. I think you leave a gray area there so we can possibly make sure that that $100 million goes to where it will benefit the most. Now, we're also told that an additional panel has been formed to determine how this money will be allocated year after year, but we're told that will be closer to the stadium's completion in 2026. In the studio and on your side tonight, Andy Payton, Channels News. Andy